Hello, I'm Marv Klein with the Pipeline Team here at Vermeer. In this video, we're going to cover the different steps on setting up a mud reclaimer shaker deck on the R600T reclaimer. For additional information on operational procedures and safety guidelines, refer to the operator's manual. Once the reclaimer is staged on site, the tanks are filled with water and the unit is ready to be utilized, it's important that the shaker decks are set up properly to achieve maximum performance. The first step is to detach the transport support bars from the sides of the shaker deck. These support bars are designed to carry the load of the shaker decks during transport, but need to be detached from the shaker decks prior to use. Now that the transport bars are detached, the next step is to check the air pressure in the airbag to assure that the airbags are inflated properly, which will allow the shaker decks to operate at maximum efficiency. Check the air pressure in the airbags with a standard air pressure gauge. The recommended air pressure is between 40 PSI and 50 PSI. Now let's look at the screen installation process. Each shaker deck is equipped with three pre-tension screens. Once the proper screen selection is decided, we can now begin to install the screen. Always check the back side of the screen to assure the rubber gaskets are in place and there is no damage to the gasket. The first screen to be installed goes into position number one, which is toward the back of the shaker deck. To install the screen, position it inside the shaker deck between the side walls and slide the screen all the way to the back against the end wall. To secure the screen in place, place one of the screen wedge bars on top of the screen frames on both sides. Then, position a screen locking wedge on top of the screen wedge bars and slide them under the retainer by pushing down on the screen and pushing the wedge under the retainer until snug. Using a pry bar, pry the wedges under the retainer until the wedges are tight and secure. Repeat the installation for screen positions number two and three until all shaker decks are completed. For the shaker deck to perform at maximum performance, it's critical that the counterweights on the shaker deck motors are set to the proper setting. To check the settings and adjust the counterweights, always refer to and follow the instructions in your machine's operators and maintenance manual. We will highlight some of these steps next. The counterweights are located under these end caps. The end caps will need to be removed to inspect and adjust the counterweights. The two counterweights should be offset and the numbers on the ruler located on the flat edge of one of the counterweights will indicate the weight setting. The minimum operating weight setting is 70%, but can be adjusted up to 100% to help optimize shaker performance. When weights are fully overlapped, the percentage is 100%, and when the weights are not overlapped and totally opposite to each other, the percentage is zero. To adjust the weight setting, Loosen the Allen head bolt on the counterweight with the ruler and rotate the counterweight to the desired setting. Always make sure you retighten the Allen head bolt to the proper torque specified in the manual. On this unit, it is 37 foot-pounds. Always set both sets of weights on the motors to the same setting. Replace the motor end caps and secure in place with the four retaining nuts and bolts. The last step is to set the shaker deck angle. Although there is no specific set working angle, it's advised to start with an upward angle from back to front. The proper working angle can be set by adjusting the angle using the two jacks mounted on each side of the shaker deck. Crank the jacks in the clockwise direction to increase the angle and counterclockwise to decrease the angle until the desired angle is achieved. We suggest you run at the lowest angle possible. Thanks for watching this video on setting up the Reclaimer Shaker Deck. For more information on our reclaimers, talk to your local Vermeer dealer or visit Vermeer.com.